Hey, this is Fiona, and in this video I wanted to do a book review on Life Prints by Richard Unger. Uh, deciphering your life purpose from your fingerprints. This was our, this was my Bible when I was going through the IIHA, the International Institute of Hand Analysis in Washington. And this book was very, very life-changing, very life-changing. Although it leaves out a lot of the hand shape and the lines and stuff like that, it focuses mostly on your fingerprints because that's like your soul's agenda. So uh, your life purpose, your life lesson, and then the overall theme of your life or the school that you're in. So this is what this book will focus on. And you know, fingerprints were formed five months prior to your birth. And he talks about basically how your fingerprints reveal what you're meant to do in your life. And it's a state of consciousness that you're supposed to inhabit. Um, not like, oh, I meant to fit into the marketplace with, you know, how do I fit into the marketplace? How do I capitalize on my talents and stuff like that? Uh, it's more of like, this is how you were wired to be and how can you create or inhabit the state of consciousness that allows your soul to be very, very, feel very fulfilled. Um, so through the book, you know, he talks about the different soul psychology elements. And then he also uses a lot of his own life, life, uh, stories when he's kind of illustrating, uh, certain things with certain fingerprints, how certain people are wired people with these types of fingerprints in this school and this life purpose and this life lesson, what does their life look like? Uh, a person that has, you know, is in school of love and you know, their, their life purpose is, um, the leader and their life lesson is uh, uh, powerlessness, helplessness, overwhelm. So how, do, how does that picture, what does that person's life look like when you put it all together? And he also takes a look at like famous people. So he looks at like Albert Einstein, John, uh, John F. Kennedy, Amelia Earhart, Walt Disney, Charles Manson. So you get to actually look at fingerprints of people that are famous and see how they fulfill their life purpose or how it got thwarted and how they, you know, maybe kind of fell short of it. Um, or maybe it got inverted and, and totally, you know, won a different path. So this book is really cool. It kind of shows you the different, you know, this is like the, the lowest ranking fingerprints on which finger. So he has these charts that he uses and this book, I've read this book so many times you can see it's like falling apart. <laughs> But um, I still read this book. It's 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 pretty. It was pretty life changing um, when I read this book, uh, and everything's been highlighted as you can see. So it's like School of Wisdom, um, and then shows you the different fingerprints, and then you basically get to go through the book and create this kind of uh, chart. You get to chart your life purpose, your life lesson in your school, um, and see you know what what is your you know what is the recipe to to have you live a fulfilling life and things that you gotta watch out for you know they there's a lot of like the way he maps it out he uses like masters of success this is like right thumb you know he gives you the the very specific kind of statement the master of success the doer and the life lesson if you're the right thumb is breaking the failure cycle um, masters of success, turn ideas into reality, create tangible, measurable results, take personal responsibility for seeing things through to completion. Um, masters of success are happiest when immersed in a project, using skills or learning new ones, energizing others with a natural enthusiasm. These are typical occupations. Remember, it's not what you're doing, but it's basically that you are producing tangible, measurable results in the world. The actual format is secondary. So, um, entrepreneur launching a business, starting up a new product line with an existing company, CEO, company president. Um, and they talks about like common obstacles, like stopping just short of success, relying on unreliable people, becoming ruined by your success. Uh, famous masters of success, the genie and the magic lamp, Sea Biscuit, Hercules, Rocky one, two, three, four, Helen Keller, um, Thomas, Alva Edison, Muhammad Ali, uh, life purpose, blossoming, focus, ambition, results, feelings of accomplishment, life purpose, inverse, scattered direction, unclear goals, logistical nightmares, feelings of failure. And then he has like this question and answer thing. Um, I'm doing really well at work, but I don't like the rest of my life. What's going up? Are you sure you're really doing what you want to be doing? Um, so he has like these different checklists that you can do. And then when this life purpose or life lesson is involved with the four different schools, then what does that look like? And then he has like typical archetypal combinations. So, you know, if these are your highest ranking prints, 
you know, there's certain names of those archetypes. Like if you have your thumb index and your middle finger, so thumb, Jupiter, and Saturn finger is your highest ranking, this is the tycoon. Also, if you have both thumbs and the Jupiter and Saturn, that's also tycoon. So there's certain, there's certain archetypes for, for the different combinations of, of high or low ranking fingerprints. Um, and then he does talk about uh, Palmer prints, so prints in the palm and what they mean. So if you have like a Venus print or Mars print, um, you know, fingerprint, der dramatic glyphic is just like a fingerprint in that certain area or a moon dramatic glyphic, what does that mean? Uh, so yeah, it talks about all the different, you know, fingers and the life purposes and life lessons associated with those fingers. And yeah, just overall, this book was like my Bible. And I know that before I went through the school, it was kind of confusing. I didn't quite understand the whole thing. Um, but as I was going through the school, this really helped understand and unlock everything that I know now. So um, yeah, if you're interested in this book, I would highly recommend it. And if you're interested in a hand analysis reading, well, you can send me an email. All right. See you in the next video.